This laboratory has been used for many years to show students some of the properties of gastrointestinal smooth muscle and its relationship with the nervous system. It involves using an organ bar in which a strip of isolated rabbit small intestine is suspended by sutures and various solutions are added to the muscle. Features of the organ bath setup involves a stand in which various buffers are placed. The three buffers to be used are thyroid's buffer, thyroid solution deficient in calcium, and one potassium enriched solution. Thyroid solution has the same osmolarity and pH as extracellular fluid and contains the same major ions including sodium, potassium, calcium and chloride. These solutions are aerated with carbogen, a gas mixture of 5% carbon dioxide and 95% oxygen. Here we see a bottle containing carbogen gas, gassing the bottles of buffer. Remember that acid-base balance depends on a normal level of carbon dioxide, which is why carbogen, not pure oxygen, is used. The buffer solutions are gravity fed into a heat exchanger that maintains the solutions in this region at 37 degrees. The flow of the buffers into the organ bath are regulated by taps. Opening the tap allows a specific buffer to flow into the organ bath. The organ bath is also aerated with carbogen. Also shown here is the glass rod on which the smooth muscle will be suspended on the loop at the lower end. In this lab we will be measuring the force of contraction converted to grams. The force of muscle contraction is measured using a transducer. The transducer converts a contractile force generated by the smooth muscle into a voltage. Technically, force is measured in newtons, not grams, but the use of grams to measure force in biology is common. When we talk about a force of one gram, what we mean is a force the same as that produced by hanging a one gram weight from the transducer, about 10 millinewtons. The strain gauge amplifier provides power to the transducer and also amplifies the output signal from the transducer. The strain gauge is connected to the power lab setup where the signal is converted to a digital image of the force of contraction. Before starting to measure the force of contraction, it is necessary to calibrate the transducer in order to determine that load on the transducer is proportional to the displacement on the transducer. 2 grams and 5 grams are sequentially loaded onto the transducer. The digital display over the range of 0, 2 and 5 grams are highlighted, selected for calibration and then graphed. This established that the transducer is working. Using a syringe with needle attached, a 5 millimolar adrenaline solution is added to the organ bar, which has a volume of 25 mil. Observe the absolute change in grams in basal tone, amplitude of spontaneous contraction and total tension of the smooth muscle in response to adrenaline and tabulate. 